What tags should I use? How do I tag my videos? Are tags even important? A lot of people ask about tags, and a lot of people have a lot of preconceived notions about tags. So there's a lot of information on the subject, but a lot of it contradicts each other. Hey everyone, my name's Tim, and today I'm gonna go over how we at Little Monster approach tags. First, let's clear up a couple of misconceptions right off the bat. Tags are not a cheat code. There's no secret combination of tags that you're going to enter that's gonna make your video have a million views. You shouldn't think of tags as a primary way of getting views at all. There's no secret string of characters. There's no one magic word that's gonna change it all for you. It is good to get tags right. That's why we are talking about how to get tags right. But this isn't the thing that's going to make your video. Do not lose sleep over your tags. Probably not worth it. If you're looking to take your video to the next level, again, the answer is probably to increase your CTR or to increase the length of your video. Again, when we're talking about ways to make big views, CTR is where it's at. It's almost always CTR. Tags can sort of matter to CTR, but not usually, and we'll get into that in just a sec. Because something that's important to keep in mind is while there is no combination of tags that's the right combination that's going to make your video, there are a number of wrong tags that can hurt your video's performance. Tags are a piece of metadata that YouTube uses at the beginning of a video's life when it doesn't have a lot of other data to help it understand what the video's about. If I put a skateboarding tag in a video, YouTube understands that it should probably be looking for fans of skateboarding as people who might want to see the video. Now at the end of the day, the strongest piece of information to the recommendation algorithm is whether or not not that viewer has watched videos of yours in the past, not tags. But everyone's gotta to come to your channel for the first time and if somebody searches skateboarding and you have a video that's tagged about skateboarding, that might put it in front of them. Therefore, if you use the wrong tags, you might be showing up in different places than you want to be. And you'll find yourself in front of audience members that aren't interested in your content and they're not going to click on it. Which at that point, yes, it is hurting CTR. Over time, YouTube's understanding of who watches the video is going to be determined by who watched and enjoyed it and engaged with it, and tags are going to have less and less relevance over time. But those first few hours can be critical, and if your tags are confusing YouTube as to what the video is about, it can hurt those first few hours, which hurts your performance in the long run. Okay, so what are the wrong tags? What tags do we need to avoid? Because we don't wanna run into that situation. The first set of wrong tags and the one that I see used most often is tags for other channels. Unless you are talking about that other channel, do not use tags that refer to another channel. And you might think that sounds stupid. You might be like, well, Tim, they get a ton of views and if I can get into their searches, then won't I get a ton of views too? No. No, you won't. It's easy to understand where this idea of piggybacking on another channel comes from, right? So if I'm a gaming channel and I tag all my videos PewDiePie, then people searching for PewDiePie might see my video. They might, I guess, but consider this. If somebody's searching for PewDiePie, they probably wanna see a PewDiePie video. So this person who wants to watch a PewDiePie video searches PewDiePie. Let's say Miracle of Miracles that somehow you're on page one. Do you think they're gonna click on your video? No, of course not, because they wanted to watch a PewDiePie video. That's why they searched for PewDiePie. Putting tags from another channel might get you into certain searches, but it will never, ever, ever convince people to click on you. So instead of telling YouTube what your video is about, you're telling it what it isn't about, which is going to put it in front of the wrong people who are never going to click on it, if you show up at all. Because also you're going to be competing with PewDiePie for his tags. And over time, if your channel is using a bunch of the same tags and succeeding really, really well, you'll start to become considered an authority for those tags. So you'd have your work cut out for you for showing up in search. And even if you did show up in search, you likely would not succeed. Seed. Don't bother, let's save your breath. Next, avoid tags that are unrelated to your video. Again, this is a piece of data that's going to tell YouTube who might be interested in your video. If you're telling YouTube your video is about something that it isn't about, it's going to confuse them. So here's a wild example of that. Let's say I'm making an Arbor Day video because I want to raise awareness for what Arbor Day is and what Arbor Day means. And I know that people like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I think, hey, people love superheroes, so I'm gonna put Iron Man and Captain America and Black Widow in my tags because then my video will be super popular. No, it doesn't really work like that. Again, if somebody finds your video by searching for superheroes, they're just not going to click on it because they weren't looking for Arbor Day videos. If you want to raise awareness for Arbor Day, you're going to have to build an audience and then communicate to them once they're already there. Thirdly, and I'm hoping this is just a coincidence that I've seen this a couple of times and that not all of you are doing this, but don't use the tag free video. People just put the tag free video in their video. I don't know why. Basically all YouTube videos are free unless it's like a YouTube Red exclusive thing. Every video is free. Nobody cares that yours is free. Don't bother. Like that one's probably not hurting you, but it doesn't mean anything either. Just don't do it. You can tell that this one just like emotionally confuses me because it seriously has happened a number of times. Like what's going on y'all? 
And something that isn't bad, but that you wanna keep an eye on is your automated tag. So if you put tags in each and every one of your videos, make sure they're actually still related to each and every video that you put up. A lot of people will set a list of automated tags because they're doing a stable kind of content and then they want to experiment and all of a sudden their tags are completely unrelated to what they're doing. Okay, so those are the wrong tags. What are the right tags? The way to come up with the right tags is first to take your video's core idea and turn it into a keyword. Let's say I want to talk about skateboarding and I'm going to tell you how to do an ollie. Which, side note, you should not come to me to know how to do an ollie. I can do an ollie, I just can't do a good ollie. So my keywords are going to be something like how to ollie, how to do an ollie, something like that. So that should wind up in my title and description pretty naturally. They're the keywords that describe the video, they should be in the title and description. Tags aren't really any different. We wanna take our video's keywords and make those basically all of our tags in different combinations. So you're going to use your keywords straight up and your keywords possibly within the title and then remixed a couple ways or common misspellings. So your tags will wind up something like how to ollie, how to do an ollie, how to do a good ollie, best way to do an ollie, fastest way to learn an ollie, learn an ollie, learning to do an ollie, how to learn to do an ollie, ollie skateboarding, skateboarding ollie, do an ollie skating. Do an ollie rolling. Do an ollie stationary. Maybe. That kind of depends on if we're learning to do an ollie rolling or stationary or both. Those terms are a little bit more inside baseball. In terms of number, there's a lot of debate about this. Personally, if I'm talking with a client, I give them a pretty wide range. 8 to 16 tags like this. Depending on the size and how long it takes to type them out, you might do more or less because there is like a character limit also to tags. But far more important to me than the number of tags is that they are all focused around this keyword. After that, we're going to have one to four tags that are much more generic and much more likely to be the same across all of our videos. So if this channel that's teaching you how to do an ollie is just a skating channel in general, we're gonna have generic tags like skating, skateboarding, learn skateboard, skateboarding tricks, something like that that puts our video in kind of a more raw genre. Don't need a ton of these, but it's good to center our channel around something. That does sort of bring us to the entire gist of tags. They're not super duper complicated, but you can screw them up still. But there is one other thing that people ask us about, and that's the order of tags. As far as YouTube is concerned, YouTube is generally held that the order of tags does not matter. As a general rule, we tend to put the most specific tags first down to the least specific. First off, that helps kind of sequence how we're thinking about our tags. There are the more specific keyword-based ones down to the more generic ones. It's kind of a nice organization technique for setting up your tags in the first place. And if there happened to be some kind of weird order preference, it would probably be good to have the most specific tags that are the most related to your video first. So it's good for organization, good for being on the safe side, no reason not to do it most specific to least specific. A couple of other small things to keep in mind. Capitalization shouldn't matter, you probably don't have have to worry too much about it. Try to think of these tags as something that somebody might be searching for, and when you're searching for something on YouTube, you don't necessarily use apostrophes and punctuation in the middle of your search. So apostrophes, quotation marks, periods, generally don't need them. When it comes to misspellings of a word, it can be hard to know what's a common misspelling, but you can sort of start to get to it if you search for a misspelling and you see a bunch of results that are related to your topic. So in the skateboarding example, Ollie with one L versus Ollie with two Ls. But there's not a hard and fast rule for what makes a misspelling a common misspelling. Use your best judgment. And if you're not sure, just go with correctly spelled tags that are really close to your keyword. Again, they're not going to make your video suddenly have 8 million views on it, but it is going to prevent YouTube from putting your video in front of people who have no interest and do not want to see it. Because if they don't want to see it, your CTR is going to drop and YouTube's going to look at your metadata and have no idea who actually does want to watch your video, so it's probably going to have worse performance overall if you tag it wrong. That said, if you follow these principles, it's pretty hard to screw tags up. So just be honest about what your video is about, come up with strong keywords, and don't overthink it too much. Your tags will be fine. But seriously, do not put free video in there. Again, it's probably not the thing that's going to sync your channel, but it will upset me personally. So don't do it. And with that, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out these other great videos on audience development on our channel. And if you like this video, leave it a like to let us know that you like it and you want to see more of it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Little Monster for more videos on audience development every single week. See you next time. If I need to, I can get a slow motion video of me doing an ollie with knee pads and wrist guards because I am safe.